So at the moment, I've gotten part of the endo body up, supporting the head, and it actually works. I gotta be very careful as to not make a lot of movement, otherwise they'll probably fall. That's why the books are here. I don't only have these books here, but also at the back. As well, it also kind of helps with <laughs> some of the wire management of just putting the books on top so, like, it doesn't. That's not a good idea because that is from there. Always want to make sure you get. Don't. Don't. Oh my god, this is so. You don't want to ever have these touching. Why? Why? Why do these not want to work? Okay, hopefully. And I'll stay. Okay, as long as they're not touching, it's fine. But essentially. Uh, he still works. <laughs> See, I'll be making a video very soon. Probably uh, before this one comes out, that video will come out first. So this one just shows kind of a little bit behind the scenes. And yes, I'm using a power bench supply rather than my computer. So it just makes everything a lot smoother because in the original test runs that I actually moved slower than the rest of it for some reason and that top eyelid kind of moved a bit slower as well. But with the power bench supply, it works like a charm. I do need to start these cables. Oh my God. Ah, uh, there's so many. There are so many. Don't you agree? He agrees.